Vietnam, a vibrant country in Southeast Asia, is known for its dynamic cities, serene countryside, and rich historical heritage. Life in Vietnam offers a unique blend of traditional and modern influences, with bustling street markets and tranquil Buddhist temples coexisting alongside contemporary skyscrapers. The country's rapid economic growth, with a GDP growth rate of approximately 7% in recent years, has led to significant improvements in infrastructure and living standards, attracting both tourists and international expatriates. Vietnam is a land of astonishing natural beauty, characterized by a diverse range of landscapes, stretching over 1,650 kilometers from north to south. Its geography includes mountains, plains, and coastal areas. The north is dominated by the Hoang Lien Sun Range, which includes Phan Sipan, the country's highest peak at 3,147 meters. Moving southward, the terrain descends into lush plains where the Mekong Delta thrives. This delta plays a crucial role as it comprises about 40,000 square kilometers of waterways that are both a vital means of transport and a fertile area supporting the agriculture that makes Vietnam the world's second largest rice exporter. Furthermore, Vietnam boasts over 3,000 kilometers of coastline, featuring some of the world's most beautiful beaches such as Da Nang and NHA Trang, which are key attractions for both tourism and local recreation. The country's commitment to preserving its natural resources is evident in its national parks, such as Phong NHA, Ke Bang National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site known for its cave systems, including Son Dung Cave, the largest cave in the world. As of 2021, Vietnam's population is approximately 97 million people, making it the 15th most populous country globally. This population is distributed unevenly, with a density ranging from overpopulated urban areas like Ho Chi Minh City to sparsely populated rural provinces. About 35% of the population resides in urban areas, a figure that has been steadily increasing due to urbanization. Ethnic Vietnamese, Keen people, make up about 85.7% of the population, with the remaining 14.3% consisting of 53 distinct ethnic minority groups. Each group has its own unique cultural traditions, contributing to the rich cultural tapestry of the nation. The median age in Vietnam is relatively young at 32.5 years, reflecting a population that is vibrant and potentially transformative for the economy as these individuals enter the workforce. Vietnamese women are celebrated for their grace, strength, and beauty, often depicted in traditional Ao Dai dresses that highlight their elegant and slender figures. Beauty in Vietnam is not just appreciated aesthetically, but also revered for its symbolic representation of the country's cultural resilience and pride. Vietnamese women's beauty is complemented by their roles in society. Over 70% participate in the labor force, showcasing their importance not just in cultural identity, but also in contributing to the nation's development and social fabric. Hanoi, the capital of Vietnam, is more than just a political center. It is a repository of the nation's history, culture, and tradition. Established over a thousand years ago, Hanoi has been a witness to many pivotal changes in Vietnam's history. From its establishment as a capital of the Lai Dynasty in 1010, to its status as the French Indochina capital. Today, the city is home to over 8 million people, and its architecture is a blend of historic Vietnamese styles with French colonial influences, evident in areas like the Old Quarter and the wide boulevards of the French Quarter. Despite its rapid modernization, Hanoi retains its charm through sites such as Huan Kiem Lake, the heart of the city, and the bustling streets of the Old Quarter, where vendors sell traditional goods and food. Vietnam's cost of living is relatively low, which attracts many expatriates and digital nomads. For example, in cities like Hanoi or Ho Chi Minh City, a one-bedroom apartment in the city center can cost around $1.500 per month, while meals at inexpensive restaurants might only cost $1.00 too. However, income levels vary significantly. The average monthly income in Vietnam was about $348 in 2020, 
but this number can be much higher in sectors like IT and finance, especially in urban areas. The growing economy and development in sectors such as technology, real estate, and services provide increasing opportunities for both locals and expatriates. Vietnam's history is a tale of resilience and pride, marked by centuries of warfare and colonization. Originally a collection of tribes, Vietnam was first unified under the Ngo dynasty in 938 AD after gaining independence from Imperial China. The subsequent centuries saw the rise and fall of dynasties like the Li, Tran, and later the Nguyen, which expanded its territory. The French colonization in the late 19th century introduced Western elements to Vietnamese culture, but also ignited nationalist sentiment. The mid 20th century was defined by the Indochina Wars, including the Vietnam War, 1955 to 1975, which resulted in significant loss and devastation. Following reunification under the Communist Party in 1976, Vietnam has been on a path of economic reform and global integration, reflecting a nation that cherishes its independence and cultural heritage while also embracing the future. Vietnam's climate varies significantly from north to south, influenced by its geography and proximity to the equator. The northern part of the country, including Hanoi, experiences four distinct seasons, a warm, humid summer, a cool, dry winter, and transitional autumn and spring seasons. Summer temperatures in the north can average around 30 degrees C, but can occasionally rise above 40 degrees C during heat waves, while winter temperatures can dip below 10 degrees C. Moving south, the climate becomes more tropical, especially in Ho Chi Minh City and the surrounding regions, where temperatures are consistently high year-round, averaging 28 degrees C, with a distinct wet and dry season. The wet season lasts from May to October, bringing heavy rains that can account for up to 80% of annual rainfall, crucial for the rice paddies in the Mekong Delta. This tropical climate supports an extraordinary biodiversity, including vast mangrove forests and numerous species of birds and marine life, which are vital for both the ecosystem and the tourism industry. Vietnamese culture is profoundly influenced by a mixture of indigenous customs, Chinese governance periods, and French colonial history, creating a unique cultural identity. The core of Vietnamese culture is deeply rooted in Confucian values, emphasizing family loyalty, duty, and honor. These values are reflected in everyday life through practices like ancestor worship and family gatherings during Tet, Vietnamese New Year, the most important celebration in Vietnamese culture. Art forms such as water puppetry, a tradition dating back to the 11th century, and the vibrant folk literature are celebrated nationally. Additionally, the influence of French colonialism is still evident in Vietnamese architecture, fashion, and cuisine, with the baguette banh mi being a perfect example of this cultural blend. Religious practice in Vietnam is diverse and reflects layers of indigenous belief systems blended with major world religions. Approximately 85% of Vietnamese identify with Buddhism, making it the dominant religion, particularly the Mahayana sect. Confucianism and Taoism also have significant followings and influence societal norms and values, including respect for family and education. Catholicism, introduced by French missionaries, is practiced by about 7% of the population. Additionally, a unique feature of Vietnamese spirituality is the practice of ancestor worship, which cuts across most religious boundaries and is a common practice in most households, reflecting a blend of religious traditions and the cultural emphasis on family. Vietnam's calendar is replete with festivals, many of which are based on the lunar calendar. The most significant is Tet Nguyen Dan, or Tet, which celebrates the Lunar New Year and can last up to a week. It is a time for family reunions, settling old debts, and preparing for a prosperous year ahead. Homes are often cleaned and decorated, special food is prepared, and streets are filled with decorations and lights. Other important festivals include the Mid-Autumn Festival, celebrated with moon cakes and lantern parades, and the Perfume Pagoda Festival, 
a three-month-long event that draws pilgrims from across the country to the sacred Buddhist site. Vietnam's economy has experienced significant growth over the past few decades, transforming from a primarily agrarian base to a more diversified and modern industrial economy. As of 2021, Vietnam's GDP was estimated at approximately $368 billion, with annual growth rates averaging around 7% in recent years, making it one of the fastest growing economies in Asia. The manufacturing sector, including electronics and textiles, plays a critical role, benefiting from foreign direct investment and favorable trade agreements. Agriculture still employs about 40% of the workforce and remains crucial, particularly in rural areas. Vietnam is a major exporter of agricultural products, especially coffee, rice, seafood, and rubber. The government has also prioritized developing the technology sector, with significant investments in education and infrastructure aiming to transform Vietnam into a regional tech hub. Vietnam is generally considered a safe country with relatively low crime rates compared to other countries in the region. Violent crimes are rare, but petty crimes like pickpocketing, bag snatching, and other minor thefts are more common, especially in tourist-heavy areas like Hanoi's Old Quarter and Ho Chi Minh City's District 1. The Vietnamese government has stringent laws and penalties that help keep the crime rate low. However, Tourists and expatriates are advised to remain vigilant, especially in crowded areas and tourist destinations. Traffic safety is another concern, with traffic accidents being one of the leading causes of injury and death in the country. Owing to the high volume of motorbikes and the sometimes chaotic nature of traffic, particularly in large cities, 